All right, guys, we have a handicapped start where... Where's the game timer, by the way? Isn't that only a game timer? There. All right, we're about 50, 10 seconds behind on our first worker here. That's our handicap. It's gonna give our opponent a slight chance. Uh, we're just gonna go house into expand once again, guys. I think a real simple opening. That seems like it should work. Um, I think we can just rally our first worker to build that house, should be perfectly fine. All right, I'm gonna try and do werewolf drops this game on the enemy army, guys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You guys saw nothing. I did not pull my workers off mining. I would never do such a thing. I am much more pro than that. Oh, you only got the range upgrade after getting plus five bow and on? Yeah, yeah, I figured that out in the custom game versus AI that I, I played. I was like, oh, they have an upgrade. That I should have got that earlier. So yeah, yeah. Like that's kind of important, dude. Oh my God. All right, so you can see here, I actually don't need the house this early because this next guy will start. See, so he'll be the 10 out of 10. So the worker that's building immediately takes up supply, which is different to StarCraft where it'll pop out and then your supply capped. It makes it a little bit easier to realize ahead of time that you are about to be capped. So we're gonna go for that fast expand, super basic build order, guys. Uh, I think we can send a guy down now. 350 resources. These guys are pretty slow. I do love the graphics, by the way. The graphics are just adorable. Little blobhead baby. Let me go down there and build us an expand. I guess we can mine some gold while we're waiting to hit 350. Or we can just get rid of that last worker in the queue. Um, I gotta remember that escape doesn't get rid of it. Alright, and now we can queue more workers behind it. All right, so cure another worker. Uh, we've got pretty good efficiency, about 80%. Going above 80%, I think you have pretty big diminishing returns is what I've heard. So I don't know exactly what the percentage is or anything like that, but I'm just trying to get to 80% on each gold mine and then focus on getting a new base up as a high priority. Uh, we're going to go beasts one more time because beasts are cool. Beasts are badass. So we're going to go for a wolf stand. We don't need so many wolves, uh, wolf stands, guys, as last game. That was a little sloppy on my part. I think I went a bit too hard on them. We're going to pop one more guy out in this base, and then everything else is going to rally to the natural. And we're just going to keep pumping these workers for now. We just get a wolf to scout. Totally, I don't think it matters if our opponent knows we're going wolves. Um, we'll see what happens. This game has most functionality that a normal RTS has. It doesn't have steel control groups, though. I mean, most RTSs for history haven't had stealing control groups, right? Or if it does, it's not an ult. Yeah. That's fine. I mean, I, I don't need control group stealing, right? As nice as it is, I'm playing a game a lot and getting really competitive with it. It's not not the highest priority compared to everything else working nicely. Is Raider Archer good, says Jutral. The Raiders do look really cool. Let's start building some wolves, guys. Make sure we always have an extra worker queued up before this, the, the first one pops. And I do think we'll get another... Wolf less soon. Oh, you're gonna build a thingy major, are you? Okay. I don't I don't really want to go snakes. Um, but then I'm also wondering like what other anti-air will I have if I don't get snakes? They're not meant to be very good versus anti-air, but yes. at least there's something. Oh, hello. Alright, let's go guys. We're gonna go for a wolf den. Yes. This is good because it'll give me uh, some efficiency there. We could also get a watchtower, which I'll build, I guess, just here out the front. As you wish. Make sure we're good. People saying get dragons. Those are fun. I actually didn't like dragons. I tried them in my first game. So like, hells yeah. I think their damage sucks. Though being able to harass the enemy worker lines does seem pretty cool with them. But for me, I would much rather be dropping. Are you playing on a barcode? Uh, it's just a guest account. It wouldn't let me log in. All right, we've got two barracks here. No expansion. Oh, Zulu has not played before then. No expansion. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go straight for uh, an upgraded werewolf den because I think it, werewolves will wreck knights if I can get to them. I, I don't know that for sure, but it definitely feels that way from what I've seen so far in this game. Let's try and build a mini house wall there at the front. All right, we're going to check the corner bases. Just to make sure. This guy's going to sit out front. What's hold position? 
think that's D by the looks of it. It's kind of hard to see on the background there. Uh, I think we should build snakes as well, just to be safe uh, against some air units and to deny scouting as well. So we'll go, so just to check, E, A, trying to learn the muscle memory here. And then we also want to go E, R for the upgrade structure, start getting some upgrades there. Uh, just keep building wolves for now, and then we'll start building werewolves when that's finished. Uh, let's also get another house, shall we? I don't think we need it just yet, actually. Yeah, we can hold off on that house for just a little bit. Um, those guys go there. I think we'll rally one more worker in that main since that's where we're building most of the production. Has he got an expansion coming up yet? So those are both barracks, guys. They look a lot like the main castle, but they're not. They're just a barracks. Okay. <laughs> Wolf's just running in circles. No worries. This is almost finished. We can start our first werewolf in a moment. Because he's one base, I'm two base. I've got a massive income advantage. Oh! Alright, I'm going to put that guy on control group one. This guy's just going to... Keep scouting the corner bases. Let's get that first werewolf started, and then we're gonna get a few snaky snakes as well. Try to deal with that bird. I don't know where the bird is. Oh, he's making archers now. And he's got a watchtower. Ow, 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 that's gonna kill that. He's making a forge. Okay, yeah, he's making a forge. All right, let's get upgrades. Uh, all right, those guys can go there. You wanna get carapace? Or Beast armor, I guess it's called, but we're going to call it Carapace, because in my mind, I'm playing Zerg right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. This feels a bit like playing Zerg to me. So we're going to A-move this snake around our base to try and see where his uh, bird is and hopefully kill it. Use a bit of a shift click for that. Um, this wolf is going to check the bottom left and then go to the middle. We're going to keep killing up werewolves, which are very expensive, 225 gold. Now, I do want to drop those, but we're not going to be able to do that till a bit later. For now, I just need raw fighting units going straight to drops. This would be like trying to defend an opponent one base three raxing me with a single disruptor drop. It's like, okay, just just get fighting units out. It's got to be the higher priority, right? So a few snaky snakes, um, as well as werewolf production. Uh, I think we're at max workers for two base. I can probably keep expanding, I feel, just because we're both so new. But I think I'm probably better than my opponent because I think it might be his first game. Beast armor level 1's on the way. You can already queue up level 2, which is super cool. People said you could upgrade multiple things at once, but surely they didn't mean like on the same structure. I think they just mean like you can start level 1 here and on a second building you can immediately start level 2, I believe. Which is pretty cool. I'll just queue that ahead of time to start that. Uh, we're going to start the werewolf. Oh, hello! Scout, scout running. Scout skirmish, that's what that is. Uh, more sneaky snakes. There is a snake in my boots. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Is his army still here? Is what I really wanted. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. So we're going to pull back. Let him come in. Let him come in. Run this worker away. Um, one up the ramp and one werewolf on the right. So we want to we want to flank in with our werewolves, but he's not running for my workers. He's just killing my ass. Never mind. Fancy maneuver aborted. You guys saw nothing. We could also get wolf sprint there. Try and make our wolves a bit faster. I haven't tried that ability, so I might as well get it. Oh my god, the snakes are blocking my werewolf. Alright, get on top, get on top. Hello! Welcome to Pound Town! Werewolf says boom boom. Yeah, yeah. Alright, welcome to Pound Town! Werewolves are so much fun! Alright, I'm gonna try and get into the airships now, which I believe are on the mechanical side. I need to build an advanced workshop to get that. Um, oh, so sick, guys. So sick. We just hammered that shitty push. Let's go. All right, we're gonna try and, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a two-pronged airship drop to win the game. So we're gonna go for double advanced workshop to build two at once. This is not, this is not the most efficient play. This is gonna be the funniest play is what this is gonna be. And we're gonna drop a werewolf or two on each mineral line and pound town the workers. And that's gonna be a fun way of making Omega Zulu uh, leave the game, so. <laughs> Remember guys, if you've got a, a big enough of a lead, it's not about winning. It's about winning in the silliest way you possibly can. So more werewolves and uh, snakes. Actually, I wanted to get some wolfy wolves. Wolfy wolfy wolves. Get some wolfy wolves. Uh, I definitely should be going for a third base right now. I'm not just yet. And the reason for that is because I just want to get two, two airships and that's it basically. So we're just going to save our money from now as soon as these two advanced workshops are finished which are from the mechanical building tier. Workshop for Catapult Gatling. 
advanced workshop for ballistas airships and mill to get gyrocrafts from them. All right, we've got plenty of supply free. We're starting to bank money. We've got plenty of these. I don't know how much can fit in an airship. The mines do mine out, guys. There's only 2,800 gold in the top left. This one is 3,800 left. Airship is 100 gold. Do, do, do. First airship starts. Second one will be starting in a moment. I thought they'd be more expensive than that, to be honest. Allows your airships to see invisible units or black powder to make your ballistas better. Oh, not ballista. We want a airship. All right, double airships on the way, guys. Heck yeah. Let's just uh, check for hidden expansions with some of these wolves. And uh, let's also use their sprint ability because we haven't used that before. So we just use sprint, sprint, research in the snake charmer. Apparently, I didn't have the money. Oh, because I. No, I need a fortress. Oh, I didn't get a fortress, guys. So that's weird that you can get so many different things without getting the tier 2 fortress. It just seems like a few upgrades are gated by that. All right, we'll get some attack upgrades as well. They are taking less time here. We're going to find out, guys. This is our, this is our medevac. This is our transport, our overlord drop. Looks like we can fit a lot in there. My, my screen is like flashing on and off right now. This is wild. I've got a new monitor on the way, but it's not here. Naughty! All right, guys, we're going to go. Let him saturate that base. And then we're going to we're gonna put some snakes in here as well. All right, so that one's going to go hit that base. And then we've got two snakes and two uh, werewolves to go in here as well. Hello? Oh, sorry, one yes. snake. Okay. So we want to hit the natural. I don't know if we can, if he's actually taken it or not. So we might just fly in behind the main. This is just going to wait. I want to hit both at once for maximum emotional damage. Uh, that's that's just the way you've got to do it, man. Surely. Uh, all right, we can get extra attack upgrade after that. Uh, let's keep building these guys, snakes, wolves, just a mixture of basic things. And uh, I guess we can also get like the standard workshop as well. Cause I think the Gatling guns do seem pretty good. Do you got a base in the bottom left as well? Oh, this is a cheeky bugger. All right, we're gonna send some snakes, just like a little run by down there. Try and kill the guys there. All right, guys, we're coming in. This is number one, this is number... Oh, oh, hello. All right, he, I think he can take these guys. Check it out. Right, no, no workers there, just a mage. Okay, let's go. Let's go, what's the unload key? I haven't actually checked the unload key. It's W. All right, you, you guys go there. You guys, unload there. Two mineral line drop. Two mineral line drop. Let's go. Don't run away. Don't be a coward. Pound town. Pound town, baby. Pound town. Pound town. <laughs> we double pound down in both mineral lines. Let's go. So these guys at the bottom left at the same time. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, guys, quick, quick, quick. Oh my, 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 my uh, thing was sitting in range there. Uh oh. All right, quick. We got another pound ready. Oh yeah, baby. We got another pound ready. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Get out of here. We're picking up into like a two hit point medevac right now, guys. Oh my god. Get out, get out, get out. Yes. All right, all right, all right. We got that there. We're killing the base in the top left as well. Nice. Nice. All right, we got this workshop coming in. Let's build some uh, some Gatling guns. And then actually, yeah. No, no, let's go catapults. Catapults are more fun. Let's go catapults. Uh, and we can get some ballistas. Apparently they're anti-air units, but we'll get them for funsies. We'll also get uh, black powder, which gives them some, some special abilities. Build a few more werewolves. Um, and we'll just get like more wolves because wolves are fun. Oh, pound town, pound town, pound town. Pound down! He only hit one guy, but it still counts, guys. Still counts. We're gonna go back in here and hope that he's not ready for it. We're gonna send this drop down to the bottom left. Okay, don't, 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 don't get shot down. Don't get one shot. Don't get one shot. Oh my god, he didn't leave anything here that shoots up. Let's go. Oh my god, there's only one worker there. Hello. <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> he takes me to Pound Town. Oh, that's not what a daddy should do. Um. Oh, pound town, pound town. Okay, this guy's on his own, so he's gonna try and try and lure them up here to these guys. They're gonna come down. Um, is there a way to heal the werewolves? Maybe I can get priests out of the uh, the church. Oh, that's a good idea, guys. I'll try that next time. Oh, the tower shot down my transport. Oh no. All right, we're gonna kill that worker, and then we're gonna kill that watchtower. This drop's gonna come in. We're gonna unload, and that'll that'll deny the last income and knock him out of the game. Uh, I'll build the church just yes. because. So that's the human structure, the church. We can build priests. I imagine that's probably where your healing's at. Oh, we lost him. All right, that's okay. Pound town! Nice. Not a bad pound town. That was all right. And we're killing that economy, that one there as well, so. Yeah. Oh, look at this. We can start a step as well, because I think we've got very slow attack speed. 
So we can just like do an attack, run away. Do an attack, run away. And look, this smash doesn't cost uh, mana. And then you run forward, count down, and you can just keep running away. So you can actually do it defensively. I've been trying to do it where I like force it, you know, offensively on my opponent. And that might be just a bit of a dumb YOLO way of doing it. So my next army is going to come across. If he doesn't leave the game from this, um, that should force him out. Oh, we can't squeeze around the bottom of the castle. Oh, we're trapped. No. All right, that's fine. We're going to go for another drop. These guys are going to come in. I don't think he has any bases up right now. And we've got like catapults, uh, which you can attack ground with, by the way. Manganel Micro from Age of Empires. Uh, we've also got explosive shot. Target shot to show the projectile that deals AoE damage. Oh, sweet. I haven't used that ability yet, so I really want to use that. What do we got here? Houses? Okay. I pull back my normie soldiers. Let's just use the fun, fun soldiers. So first of all, let's see how well a group of Manganels does, and then we can bring in the ballistas for their shot. All right. It's very responsive, I gotta say, considering... Oh, actually, I hosted this game, so that's probably why the ping's even a little bit better than the previous one. I should have absolutely expanded by now, guys. Uh, let's QA, QA, there we go. Oh! Uh-oh. What is that? What's he building? He's building a little healing shot. Oh, okay. Okay, this is not doing well. Quick, blisters, go, go, go. Save the day. All right, we're going to select this guy and go click there, Q there, Q there, Q there. No? Why won't you guys Q? Is it not Q? Oh, does it not work? Or is it only anti-air or something? Or maybe you activate it and then it's their next attack? I don't know what's happening. The ballistas don't seem to work. Or maybe it's because they only hit air. They only... Okay. Yep, apparently they only hit air, guys. <clears throat> He's doing a good job. All right, pull back, pull back. I'm, I'm very stupid. All right, we've got the flanking ballista here, so that's cool. So you see, he's he's in trouble now, right? He's coming to fight me. He's got like three archers and one wizard. The wizard, actually, it's pretty small than the wizard. He's gonna come in. So we're attacking from in front. And we're gonna go, all right, let's go. Drop, drop. Hello? Oh, you can't drop on top of it. You have to click on the ground, guys. Oh, I didn't know that. Pound down, pound down. All right, we get some double pound down there. So uh, I was trying to use the Starcraft drop micro where you press drop and you click on the transport. Oh, there we go. It worked that time. For some reason, it didn't work before. See, it works there. Weird. Chat saying you're not meant to be able to click on the drop. But I am, and it's working. So it does actually work. You can you can do moving drop just like Starcraft. That's weird. I didn't think you could at first. All right. You're done, mate. You're done. You're about to get pound town. Is there a surrender? Uh... Pound town. Not sure. Uh, yeah, how do you surrender, guys, in chat? Just quit, apparently. So, okay, I'll try that, GG. 